the F-16 is like a Porsche and it's a high ride. And then the F-35 is like a Toyota Tacoma. It's solid, it's a tank, it's gonna, it's not, the maneuverability is not why the F-35 was built. But for sole flying purposes and the, the sensation you get as, as flying in the air in a fighter, with the F-16 it is, um, it's, it's unbelievable with the, the I guess the, the best thing about flying the F-16 is the bubble canopy. There's no canopy bow, no metal restricting your view. So it, when you're flying up there and it's a clear day and it's a beautiful day, it, it's like you're sitting on top of the world, like sitting on top of the rocket. Transitioning to F-35, um, it's still a fighter. So it's a high performance aircraft. But when you're comparing the two, the maneuverability of the F-16 obviously is, uh, is, is one of the top fighters in that, you know, in that realm of aerodynamics in the world. So moving to the F-35, there's a lot of similarities between the F-16 and the, uh, and the F-35, specifically with button pushes, but sensation flying the airplane, it, it's like the greatest roller coaster you can imagine. Your body has to build up to the high G environment, obviously. So first time going up in an airplane, in a high G airplane, um, you're probably gonna have some sensations you've never felt before, but it's amazing what the human body can do. The human body can adapt to, to those sensations and you get used to it. It's a huge leap in technology. They, with the joint program for the F-35, they've redone a lot of stuff as far as that technical leap from fourth gen to fifth gen. And obviously the F-35 is what we call like a stealth aircraft for fifth gen. It's, based, it's a flying computer. Um, the systems are all, you're troubleshooting a computer. When you're flying the F-16, most of the time you're troubleshooting a little bit of computer, but a lot of airplane. I've always wanted to fly. There's just nothing like flying. I started flying in little airplanes in 2006, right when I graduated high school, and just fell in love with it immediately. Man, there's just always been a pull to try to fly fighters a high performance fighter airplane. I just don't think that can be matched anywhere else in the world or any profession else in the world. You know, it's, uh, it's just something that's always pulled me in. I wanted to do it and just now as I get older, I, I still love flying fighters and I want to do it as long as I can. But there's just something about being airborne in general, whether that's in a little airplane or moving on into the future. Like you're qualified in a fifth gen fighter and that's something we need as a country, and that's something that um, is gonna be highly desirable to stay in in the Guard, Reserve, or even active duty. For some fighter pilots out there, that, that might be what they wanna do, and if you get this qualification, you're just, it cannot be matched in any other profession.